This video will briefly cover for the engineer the functionality of the Approval Tool, which is available in version 7.3.3.6 and higher. I will begin by unpacking the Zipped project. Once this is complete, I will open the modeling and run the status display configuration that the detailer sent in the submittal. In the Updating Toolbars and Plugins video, we saw how to drag the Approval Tool icon onto the screen and save the toolbar then set the toolbar to be used with each modeling window. If you do not have this icon on your toolbar, please view the video, or if you know how, add the icon to the toolbar. Begin by running the approval tool. Select the icon, then set the focus on the modeling window by left-clicking on the title bar at the top of the window. The approval tool operation is as follows. The tool is opened and remains opened until closed. Members are loaded into the tool and then the data is set. Single or multiple members can be loaded and set. Once everything is complete, the tool is then closed. I will load a single beam first. Notice how some checkboxes have their text changed to red. This indicates that there is data located in these fields. To view this data, select the Open folder. Even though the checkbox may be unchecked, you can still open the associated folder. At the bottom, you can run various operations from the icons. For example, I can launch an erection view. or launch a PDF version of the shop drawing. You can go as far as running reports and statuses and status configurations. The Find Open tool can be run from this location as well. I will set the member as approved by myself on today's date. To apply the data, I will select the Set button. When I select the Review icon, I can see that the status is now set with the date and my initials. Let's select all of these members with the same batching mark. Then load them into the tool. Notice that different fields will be indicated in gray. Also, the approved by and approved by date remains the same, at least until the tool is closed. I will set this to Approved as noted, and then add in a comment, then select the Set. The data is now set. I'm going to double click to review the member from the model to verify my inputs. I can change the value here and it will remain. But be careful that you do not set the values of the loaded members again from the tool since the tool will overwrite the values that are there. Close once you are finished with review. You may receive a warning output after you close when you multi-edit, but this can be disregarded.
As a precaution, you'll be able to see the approval settings on the members by the color. This concludes the brief approval tool tour. Now you can move on to the status transfer video to learn how to send the review setting from the reviewing engineer's model back to the detailer.